Hello guys, my name is Tro Stanley. Welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add Google sitemap on your blogger. Now here is how to do it. Uh, you can A search for Google sitemap generator. Sorry, sitemap generator. And then choose any one you prefer. But actually got this done by using CTR LQ dot org slash blogger. Um I make use of this application because it actually worked well for me. Let me just copy paste. I made a mistake in the I omitted C. So Let's go ahead and paste this. I've already done this before. Now, all you have to do is to copy your site URL and paste it here. That says, um, post your URL or your blogger or your blog spot. So this is my <coughs> blog spot. Oh, sorry. Okay. I just wanted to get my URL and then put it and generate so whichever software you use or whichever website you use to generate your url you should have something like this and if you have more content on your blog it should be more than this it can be up to 10 or depending on how many posts you have already on your blog so all you have to do is to copy this and then go to settings you have to log in if you're not already logged into your blogger which you want to embed the sitemap now click on the settings scroll down to search preference click on it after you've located it now you have to scroll down under the custom bot area you should see that mine is already enabled that's because i've already embedded already but yours should be showing disabled so all you have to do is to click on edit and then right click highlight everything delete it and then paste the new one it's actually the same thing but either way there is no hard feelings to paste the same thing i still have the same code in it. so once you're done just click on the save changes to save the changes you've done you should notice once it's done it says yes, successful you're successful now you have to open your your google search console then click on add sitemap and then just behind it you can notice our code actually had our code actually had um, this atom.sml. Now you have to have to do is to copy it out and then go to your search console and then paste it. Now you have to click on submit to submit that particular site uh, SML. Now you have to refresh your page. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're done. You can see that I already have one before, so there is no way it's going to paste it again. So it's actually the same thing we are doing. So we just did it all over again just for you to understand how it works. All right. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to more of my video. All right. See you some other time.